Hello, witch folk. Welcome to our coven. We are angels on broomsticks. We're a mother-daughter duo. And, and we, we love the makeup. makeup. I'm Kristen. And I'm Evangeline. And today, today. we're... <laughs> today. <laughs> today. My, my Sephora haul finally came. So we decided mm -hmm. to do a video on some new stuff that we got in the Sephora haul. Yeah. And some other stuff because we didn't get full faces or anything but we'll chat about what we got yes and yeah we'll just go through it yeah fun just sort of like some new makeup and then i decided since i was doing like new new makeup let me bring out some old oldies to go along with it you know oh, like i brought out my old nars sheer glow still trying to you know get through things let's not be wasteful oh you know? hey I, this is mine no it's not i just bought it at the sephora sale well it's almost empty so it's mine Oh, I so I bought that. Okay. okay. So, oh yeah, mine's here. Well, speaking <laughs> of, let's just get to I've it. I've never then. tried it. It's the Milk Hydro Hydro grip. grip. So, I've tried it a few times. I didn't like it at one point, and now I've decided I like it to the point I did get a full size at the Sephora sale. Oh, you did? Yeah, but I'm still using this. Okay. So, uh, just like I discovered this summer cuz I was working outside a lot, like it, it did help with longevity oh, good. and all that. Oh, okay. good. Well, you know, mm -hmm. it was too greasy in the summer to be wearing like a glowy base and a glowy yes. foundation. So that's why I just sort of, I wore the NARS matte concealer. So now's a good time, I think, for y'all to think about changing your makeup routine because the weather's getting colder <laughs> in these parts. In these parts. Not maybe in other parts, but in these parts. So... I did get the new uh, house labs. Yeah, I'm excited to see how that. I like works. the uh, components. Very luxe, very heavy. Yeah, it is pretty gorge. And I did get the powder to go with. Mm. Very. Um, this is very reflective, and then gets gonna get dirty. dirty. But we'll see. Mm. I, this might have been a whatever. Oh well. So my. To shade match, I had it in my cart for a long time. And then I watched Julia Adams' video, and I just got the shade she got. Yeah. And I think it's going to be good for me, too. And what is it, is it, Ian? Can you? Boop. I can't. Light cool. What? This will be interesting. You never buy a cool tone foundation. I don't. Is that right? You always buy a neutral. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah. we're going to learn something today. Okay. Maybe you have more cool tones than you realize. Well, I think when I bought that Lisa Eldridge, yeah. I was shocked when it came because I described my skin tone. And yeah. it came and it was practically yellow. It oh. was practically the Simpsons color. Really? I Sim don't remember skin. that. Yeah, it's there. I, it's yellow. It was yellow. Oh, that's And you said, oh, crazy. they probably do that to, like, correct your red. Huh? Oh, I don't remember, huh? <laughs> because that's been my closest shade match ever, has been in the Lisa Eldridge foundation. Hmm. So I did also get, um, they didn't have my NARS, my tried and true NARS eyeshadow my primer. primer. So I got the Maylene Grapefruit Face Cleanser. No. Uh, that was one of my little freebie thingies. I did get a primer. Oh, yeah, the Rare Beauty one. Yeah, I wonder how that'll be. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, this brow shade is a bit wacko because I forgot my little shade I like for my brows. I borrowed the Biba palette, but forgive that. Uh, yeah. So it's like, it's kind of the same. I like Rare Beauty a lot. Yeah. So I trust it. My NARS one, though, is white. That has a shade to it. Yeah, That's what I like to see in a okay. primer. So I do. Oh. Really? I like it white, so it's white. No, but it's not actually white. Here it is. It just fades to nothing. It has no okay. actual pigment. It's like a yeah, lotion. That's what I like. Hmm. Okay, anyway, like it so far. I, as I told you, if you ever watch our channel, I am the person that discovered in 1984 eyeshadow base. No one used eyeshadow base. <laughs> and it was like by Aziza. And I was like, we have to have eyeshadow. Oh, yeah, I like, I can tell already. It's just drying down nice. Mm. So, here's something exciting. Somebody hit pan. Yeah. Somebody hit pan in her Mario. We saw it coming. Mm. We saw it coming. Wow. Someone wow. did a good job and somebody replaced 
her thing with the same color, light medium. It's a soft sculpt transforming skin enhancer. Not the powder thing, but let's let's just use this up. What do you think? Like, yeah, don't leave the product. That shit's expensive. Expensive. Um, I did buy something else exciting about um, complexion. Yes. What? Uh, um, because I feel my nose is. Hideous. Hideous. No more. Since we did our makeup with our nephew slash cousin. Yeah. All his sculpting things started to get to me. He sculpts his face, enhances everything, like mm, aquiline nose. Yeah. <sighs> I'm struggling. <laughs> okay, struggle. I'm going to just describe. <gasps> Look at this. It's the Fenty. The ba boop. Kadook, kadook. It's boop, the kadook. matchsticks. Okay, huh. match sticks. This shade match is not good. And I put it on way too thick on my forehead. This is a bad situation, guys. This hasn't ever happened this bad. I've used this before, but clearly I just put too much. <laughs> Sorry, it's Amber Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. I know, it was by Rihanna. What did you do? Look at how yellow this looks on my forehead. What is it? It's just an old foundation. Oh. But I just, you know when you put too much on your forehead and there's nowhere for it to go besides into your hairline or into your brows? We all just have to remember, even when the shade match isn't perfect, by the end it's just figured itself out, right? Mm-hmm. Here's hoping. I'm doing, and I don't approve that the button knows the jowls. I was watching this really cool YouTube channel by this plastic surgeon who's talking about facelifts. And? He's very good. <laughs> I feel um, like facelifts always look no, weird. No, he told, he does a vertical, and he's the one, he's like, he thinks filler is evil. People use too much filler. And so you get this thing called filler fatigue. Cause you filler, mean when your muscles atrophy? No, that's Botox. Can we talk Oh, right, filler. sorry. I was, what's filler fatigue? It's because filler, you use it on your lips, you use it, I have filler here, here. Not much. I had it I like, like maybe it's three times. probably gone now. It never goes away. A lot of people, though, put filler here. Maybe, say, somebody whose name begins with an M. Mm -mm. Get um, into the group. You know Michael Jackson? Name. No, he's dead. A woman. Madonna. Okay. Anyway, they <laughs> use too much filler. Filler, yes, is hyaluronic acid or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. It's a natural material. Mm -hmm. However, it's bound by an unnatural material. So mm. the binding will remain. So you will always. Oh. Yeah. Weird. Oh, okay. Because people are led to believe it just dissolves. It does, but it doesn't. The right. other, the thing that binds it doesn't. So you'll get mm. sort of like scar tissue. Creepy. So he was like doing some kind of surgery and he got into some woman's jowly things and all this shit oozed out. Ew! And it wasn't the... He said, when did you get filler? And he, she said, five years ago. Oh. But I got a lot of oh it. Oh, my God. That's so, disgusting. Be careful, people. I've, <laughs> I go back and forth with nose contour. You know? I think it's only going to be good for, like, photography. Let's not kid ourselves. We're Ew. not going to go out in the broad daylight. Mm. with a line line right also i mean just in general like the shape of what you're supposed to do for a nose contour it doesn't make sense same with anything like you got to find something that works for you not everyone should do a line on either side of their nose and then uh i do love though those tiktok videos where they do a curve and a curve and it, like what? you know they, they they show you how it works mm -hmm. like and they fuck up their nose on purpose mm, it's I so good that. yeah cool anyway this is not new it's melt um a sex foil yeah i love it i've come to love it i've come to realize the beauty of it um took me a while hmm. i'm going in with a new blush that i got at the store sale one of the patrick taws which i really like because you get a cream and you get a powder this is she's baked and let me tell you this is pigmented so if you're fair, use a light hand, but it's really pretty color. Oh, yeah. Really pretty. I did get blush too. The Rare Beauty came in a set, these three in this tubes. And then I got another Rare Beauty one in this. 
component. Oh, so it came with a big one and then two littles all together? Yes. That's cute. But what kind are they? Those are the soft pinch liquid blushes. And these are the, like, they'll never go bad. Or, well, I mean, you'll they never... last fucking forever because they're pigmented. I have two. And all you need is a little dot on the back of your hand. Don't apply right to your face because you will regret. Okay. I also got very bright shades. So. And then I got this one. And this is very balmy. I tested it already. So I'll test these. Um, I'm going to test this big one then. I'm going to go in with some oldies. The Viva Bronza Medium and the Vive Highlighter, which I haven't used in a while because it's kind of sparkly instead of shimmery. We'll see. Okay, this one's called Encourage. <sighs> You're scaring me. Fine. Was it pigmented? It's pigmented. I heard you had to work quickly. Are it does dry down. That's what I like about it. It's like a liquid blush, but it dries. You know, because some cream blushes, they do maintain their dew, and they can kind of like not last that well. This one does. Oh, good. Yeah. It's good for that. Okay, cool, good. Okay, hey, yeah, I like it. So far, so good. Loving you. I'm looking at my skin, and it looks good. However, oh, I needed to tell you this. I did do a mini haul that I got like a week and a half before my big haul. Hmm. And I did buy this, and it was thanks to um, uh, the YouTuber, Patty Alonzo. I love her. But she recommended this Dr. Gross system. So it's to resurface your skin. So you get these pads, and it's easy, and I did it like... I'm gonna take a little break, but you do step one and then step two. So it's like an, a, you know, you wash your face, then you get the pad over it, and then you're supposed to feel a sting. You're supposed to? <laughs> feel a thing. But I feel something, because, and then you, I think you're, this, and then two minutes later, you, you add the other wet nap on it, mm -hmm. and then it, I guess, it, I don't know. I didn't read the instructions, really. <laughs> but we were, oh, again, talking. Story of your life. Sorry. <laughs> didn't read the instructions. Well, I did and I didn't. Anywho. But I am a, I do believe in skincare. And now is the time to resurface. Like, I wouldn't do this in the dead of summer. No, that'd be you, scary. Yeah. So the thing you have to do is you definitely have to use retinol. And then you have to use vitamin C, mm -hmm. and you have to use sunscreen, mm -hmm. sunscreen, sunscreen. Mm -hmm. You can't smoke, whatever you do. Never smoke. It's smoke. the worst. I know, but it's <laughs> the worst. Are you ready to move on to eyes? We each got a palette. You got a new one, I got an old one, but they're both melt. Yeah, melt. Well, I finally bought myself the 420, which you have, but... I don't, and I've been talking about buying it for a while. It's grungy, greens, yellows, browns, so I'm going to do something with this. I did get the new bad side of the zodiac, and I got the earth, which is my own sign, Taurus. And it's cute, and you know what? Like, looking at it... Get them together. Yeah. It's the melt. It's melt. It's got the thick... Cardboard. It's not some shitey. Doesn't feel little hot garbage color pop. Which don't get me wrong, I love that. But mm -hmm. no, that you know it's good shit in here. It's good melt. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go into this palette. I haven't explored it too much. I haven't used my own yet. She pigmented melt. I'm gonna use stubborn, which is sort of the taupe, taupey mainstay. Ooh, I like this. I've been very um, neutral lately. Me too, especially on my days off. <laughs> my days off from like, I don't know, filming with you or for Instagram. Just neutral, neutral, neutral. Me too. I mean, maybe what some people wouldn't consider neutral, but obsessed still with the Natasha Denona My Dream palette. I, I can't say that enough. And I, I realized I also really loved that Il Maquillage Kathleen Lights release that we mm -hmm. did a video on. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite palettes of the year. Okay. We'll have to get into that. Maybe a roundup of our favorite makeup we discovered this year. Do you guys I want agree. to hear about that? Yeah. What do you guys think of the new Natasha Denona palette? <laughs> Here it is. Hospital. I, I have hospital. 
Like it's yeah. trauma. Like a hospital. I'm triggered. Yeah. I had. I spent a lot of time in the hospital. I mean, not as much as my siblings, but recently, when my parents died. Yeah. Uh, I find it very hospital. Isn't mm. it called like retro pastel? Yeah, or maybe retro. Which makes sense because hospitals kind of have that retro pastel palette. Not for me, this one. I pass on that. Mm. And she yeah. also just released a pastel palette. So I'm confused at like well, choice. Well, it's, it's but... the large version of the retro, which was very pretty. Yeah. And I kind of like the look of that because it looked like the 1950s. But you know what was cute? Sydney Grace did uh, the uh, like a retro palette based on um, colors that Mel Thompson, who passed away last mm -hmm. year, YouTuber, she made up something that she thought the retro from Natasha Denona should be the ma the big re retro palette. Mm. So that's available. Like I feel like I would rather buy that if I was to buy. Because also the proceeds go to the family, which is yeah. Cute. I was gonna say like, I'm assuming they're not like profiting off of something like well, that. Well, I mean, no. Well, I mean, she left behind a family of four children, and oh my her husband's very sad, very young, you know. Do you find this new melt performs the same, or yes. is it different? It's very melty, very melty. It's melt. I can tell by just looking at it, especially the shimmers. They're sort of, you know, how they get. Yeah, they're shimmers. They're yeah. tone, okay? You know, I'd like to see Melt release a palette, though, with a different kind of shimmer. Holy shit, I just realized there's only one shimmer in this palette. But that's what I like about Melt, uh -huh. is their, their, their belief. I love Melt so much. Like, not every, they're not a big, their shimmers are a, not like shifty. And they'll never have a shifty shimmer. No, it's true. But I think it would be cool to see them sort of integrate a couple, like a new formula into a new palette. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't care. I like I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I'm still not fully impressed with this release of the, the Zodiacs. Oh, nobody is. I just wanted to try it. So you saw the blood moon this morning? This morning I saw the blood moon because the dogs didn't know we set the clocks to normal time. So yeah. they didn't know to sleep in another hour, so I got up at five. Oh, my God. But I was super happy because I wanted to see the blood moon. Yeah, lucky. And so there it was, five o'clock. I just opened. Whoosh, there it was. Wow. Gorgeous. Really? Yeah. Wow. I'm going to rave over it more than I did this morning because I wasn't too awake. But Yeah. <laughs> I like these tones. I'm so glad I bought this palette. Good. I like this one. This palette's good. It's cute. Mm. This is a melt thing, though, I would travel with. Yeah. Some of them I sure. wouldn't. I would be afraid they'd crack. That's the mm. thing about melt. While you're doing your finishing eyes, I think I'll powder. I don't usually powder. Do you? Yes. Especially in the T-zone. I uh, no longer am really a dry skin gal. Or it's just my beauty product, uh, skincare products required. I don't know. One or the other. Looks nice. Looks nice. I like you, Lady Gaga. 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 Oh, yeah. So uh, the foundation goes. I love oh, it. let me see, Miss Cool Tone. Look at me. I feel like it blended in. Mm hmm. I like it. Okay. Well, let's do mascara and finish off the look with some lips after. Alrighty. And we're back. <laughs> so we're going to do our lips. And yeah. I don't have anything new, but you do. I have two new things. I got a rose ink lipstick. This is in the shade Graceful, which is really pretty sort of pinky brown. I've been wearing this almost every day since I got it about a week ago. However, I don't think I'm going to wear it today. Mm. I think instead I'm going to go for the Tower 28 Lip Jelly in the shade Almond. So these lip jellies are really nice. I have another shade, Pistachio. I'm laughing because all the shade names is everything I'm allergic to. They even have one called Sesame. <laughs> but there's no nut oils in it, thankfully. <laughs> but it's like Cashew, Almond, Pistachio. I'm like, I don't like these names. They're giving me anxiety. You know what my, um, my Wi-Fi is called in this house when she moved out? Yeah. House of Nuts and Sesame. <laughs> I think it's rude. I think it's, you know, 
Kind of like gaslighting. Since no, I was growing it was a up. Joke. <laughs> it was a joke. Oh, I know it's a joke, but all jokes have something else. Evil? Under them. I know. There's nothing more sinister than a joke. Yeah. When I was growing up, my parents just like didn't take my allergies seriously. And to this day, like just kind of think like, I don't know. You're fine. Anyway, Endless Cacao. I really want to sort of like use Endless Cacao as a base shade for the lip gel. I have my, okay, so I'm just using an old lipstick. This one from Kaleidos. It's a brown. I found it in my drawer. It's, it's brown. brown. It's brown. It's called Mahogany. I think I've borrowed that and it's nice. Mm -hmm. These are nice because they don't dry you out. They look dry coming yeah. out. Yeah. Scary. Endless cacao to the rescue. Endless cacao. It's just the best. It is. Look how short it's getting. Mm -hmm. I have a, a backup. I'll last probably till the next sale. Ooh, she's a pretty shade. Mm -hmm. That's not brand I don't like. I don't like. I know Certain you brands don't. I don't like. Okay. Have you ever purchased anything from this brand? Yes, remember that greasy, ugly... Oh, you ugly, did purchase. Most disgusting thing I own. I don't even think I own it anymore. Yeah, it was a bro Bronzino. It was so ugly. This and is really nice. I love the packaging when it's fresh. It's my whole vibe, the 70s vibe. Mm -hmm. And then you just dip your brush into it, and all of a sudden it's ugly. Greasy. And it looks like the bottom of your sister's purse... With her methamphetamine mixing in. <laughs> like I think you just forgot to read the instructions, mother. No. Oh, I love my look. I Sorry. like that lip a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I love this palette, guys. I love Melt Formula mm. because when you're old and your eyes are kind of... There's folds and shit. Like, somehow the pigments get in there. Like... Mm. A lot of eyeshadows, like, I'll look, and I'll look in the mirror at the, in the car, and it's like, oh, there's a white piece. That's a very interesting thing for you to say, Mother. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. What? I don't know. I was just thinking, like, maybe they need to start marketing. For olds? Yeah. Melts for olds. <laughs> for maybe that's why they call it melt, because it melts into your olds. <laughs> it's a very good brand. Very good yeah. brand. It's beautiful. This, the I think the best thing they do is tone. Mm. The tone. Yeah. They do difference. Like, and plus, like, they do neutrals the best. Like, yeah. they're not boring. Yeah. And, like, if you ever, mm. fo please follow them on Instagram and follow each of the, the owners. Yeah, the two of them. Oh, my God. So their good. Their makeup looks. And they always have their children, like... It's so, so funny, cute. like, they're doing reels and their children are, like, clambering on them yeah. and they're, like, doing this exquisite makeup look. Mm. And they're so beautiful, both of them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I'm happy with what I got so far. It wasn't a ton. It was it was curated. It was thought out. It was what I needed because I always need more makeup. Um, I'm happy, yeah. too. I'm, like, to these blushes, I'm in love with the blush. I'm really liking this. Um... I got I got other things like skincare. I got a big top jaw um, for my face, and I got the. This isn't called Bum Bum, but you know it's by the Bum Bum. Mm -hmm. But I like to lay in bed. I was watching Melrose Place on Prime Video until I had to stop, and I literally think I stopped when I stopped watching back in the '90s because it jumped the shark. Oh, it just gets so bad. Yeah. See, because there's 35 episodes per season. Oh, my God. So I got five episodes in, five seasons in. Oh, it's amazing. And then they killed off my favorite character, mm. Sydney. Sorry. That's fine, I'm sure. She people. died. But, uh, anywho. I like to lay in bed and watch TV and rub that in my skin. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like, it's good. It's good. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it for today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Stay witchy. Stay bitchy. Have a good week. Bye, witches. Bye.